Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use MySQLi uh, object-oriented version to connect to database. Uh, in previous video, MySQLi procedural, we have created a database that called uh, SchoolDB and a table in it that is called students. Uh, the students uh, table consists of four fields, ID, auto increment number, name, war chart, 41 character, student ID chart, nine character, and active is a flag that identifies if the student is active or not. By default, uh, we uh, add the uh, one, value one to each record at the moment of creation. So if I go and browse this, uh, you can see there are two records already in this table, student one and student two. Back to what I said on the very first uh, video, uh, there are a few steps that we have to take in order to connect to the database using PHP. Uh, the very first one is uh, connecting the database, validating our connectivity, see if we are connected to the database, uh, query preparation, query execution, and then managing the information we receive from the database. So let's go ahead and uh, connect to the database first. So I need an instance uh, uh, that uh, let us know how to get to that database uh, in the other steps. So I'll create this variable and I'll make it equal new MySQLi. Uh, MySQLi requires a few information. It requires the host, username, password, and database name. Uh, you can add the port and socket as well, but in this tutorial, we're not going to cover those. So let's go ahead. Since I'm running uh, 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 this code locally uh, using XAMPP, uh, MySQL within XAMPP, uh, the local host will actually point to that database. The user is root, by default comes with the XAMPP, and the password is an empty string, no password. So I'll go ahead, uh, I'll add the user root, uh, password, empty string, and last one is uh, the database name, right? So done with this, uh, I always test my work. So I just simply go ahead and word up uh, DB connect to just make sure everything going smoothly and well. Uh, so just go back to the screen. I see all these values. It means something is going on. So it should be okay. Uh, so I'm done with this. Uh, now I have to start the validation. So I use the if statement. I simply use uh, the object created from MySQLi uh, to do most of the operation from now on. So I just go ahead, DB connect, and uh, connection error number. Um, as I said, I could put uh, greater than zero. It doesn't really need it because it's not going to produce any negative number. And if it's any value but zero, it will get to this statement anyway. So if, if I cannot connect to database, I simply halt the whole process at this moment. There are so many other ways, so many other things you can do. But at this moment, we just uh, stop this and would not go further. So if I cannot connect simply, I will say cannot connect to database and I will die at this moment. I can, uh, for the debugging reason, I can simply go ahead and uh, print the error message too. We never post the error message on production. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so I will say uh, connect error. Right? So I'm just printing this. Let's go ahead and see if everything is okay up to now. So I should not get anything if everything goes well, right? And then I will go back. Since the password is an empty string, the original password in my local host, if I add AA, it will not matches the current password, so the connection should fail. So I'll go back here. This is what I get. Cannot connect to database. Uh, access denied for user, and so on. So this message comes from the one that I have there already. Uh, usually when we do MySQLi uh, object oriented, we put these things into a try and catch. So we're not going to get any of those ugly messages and we can manage them better too. But for this tutorial, I'm just printing them as, as it goes. Okay. So we're good with everything. Uh, selecting uh, the query or a query preparation is simply creating a query. Uh, so I just go ahead, select uh, everything from students. Uh, remember the query is uh, case is not case sensitive, so these things uh, select them from in uppercase is just to identify the command there. Uh, always, 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 when you write your queries, make sure you echo the query and run it through uh, MySQLi. So if I go here, let me just correct this. I'm going to remove the AA. I go back to the code, run this. So as you can see, the query is there. I simply go back here, go to the query selection of PHP My Admin. 
it should return me to records it does so my query has no issue now for any reason you make a mistake in your query you will get the error message here and you can correct that right uh, so it gives you a chance to actually uh, fix your uh, errors faster now that we have done this uh, I simply have to go and uh, execute the query right so uh, I'll just simply go ahead and uh, run DB connect because that's a guy who knows where the database is and run uh, the query now the only thing I have to do I gotta pass the query remember what happened when this query is executed on the server the results that uh, results that will be saved on the memory and a reference to that information will be returned by this function so I need a variable to actually hold this information for me in this case I'll create a variable called result and save the information in there let's go ahead and word up the results see what the heck we have in there so I'll go here and I'll go back to this refresh the page I get something so it's not bad uh, okay so I'm done with this I just comment this and the next thing I want to do is I want to see how many how many rows are selected because this is select state and it can simply tell me how many rows were selected off this query so in order to do that I can simply go ahead again remember you need the DB uh, connect or in this case an instance of MySQLi class uh, to be able to access the database but for uh, the number of rows because the information is saved into the result variable this is the result that knows where the information is on the memory so you can simply go ahead and run the result and call a, a property called uh, num rows which will return you the number of rows so if I go here it should return two here you go so there's, there are two records here let me just go ahead and add a leave this one here for now just add a horizontal ruler so the rest of the information can go after this line okay now we're done let's go ahead and uh, print these values so managing the information meaning uh, since I have I might have more than one row uh, I always need a loop to go through this information one by one and get this information let, let me show you the first one so I can go ahead and say row uh, is equal or actually I can do it this way I can say word amp uh, uh, dollar sign result because result knows where this information is and I can go and uh, fetch um, fetch uh, I can fetch array I can fetch associative array you see this these are the information we can do so I just this time I'll do the associative array and uh, let, me, let me just print this for you so I'm putting the whole thing of course this has to be change to this okay uh, what I'm doing here sorry uh, result okay let me just write this one more time sorry uh, fetch associative right so if I do this then it should me give it one row let's see what it does here you go so I've got the first one which is uh, student one if I call this again right if I just go call this again then it should give me the next one because what happened is uh, the pointer points moves to the next row whenever you call fetch associate now fetch associate is an associative array meaning I can access the information by uh, the field name or column name in database so let, let me just go ahead and run this through the loop because it's, it's going to be easier so I simply go ahead and say while uh, row because I have to save this information that coming back from the result uh, fetch uh, associate right uh, so I saved them there and then simply I will go and say echo uh, name Let's see if I can do this name and dot uh, I can say row name was the field name if you remember right and uh, I can go ahead and uh, say student ID and I go here and I will call it student ID if I'm right let me just make sure so yes it is a student ID right so call that in and at the end I just simply put the BR here to be able to see the value let's see how it goes so if I go here refresh this I simply can extract those information from database inside the loop right um, now that I'm done with this of course I don't need the result anymore I gotta free the memory so I just simply go ahead and I will do result 
free. And finally, I will close my connection to database uh, right, with the close function. That's it. So I'm done with connecting to the database, selecting the information. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing using PDO. Thank you for watching.